For this week's Hot Topic, we look at the issue of a school principal as a kind of CEO. As we know, the state's education system is challenged with the task of preparing our young people for the careers of a 21st century economy. Joining us to discuss the unique initiative to help leaders of public schools learn from those who run businesses. We have with us Will Sutton, Executive Vice President and Director of the BB&T Leadership Institute, Shawana Rogers, the Principal at Dillard Drive Middle School in Raleigh, and Brenda Berg, President and CEO of Best NC. Thank you so much for being with us today. Well, Brenda, why don't you start? Tell us a little bit about Best NC, what it is, and what you're trying to accomplish. Well, thanks for having us here today. I really appreciate it, and I'm always so happy. I, I call myself a, a, an educator groupie, so being here with <laughs> Principal Rogers is a real treat. So Best NC, we represent business leaders all over the state advocating for public education. We work cradle to career, but what we found is that uh, the business community's most authentic voice is really focusing on the educators, the people who are in our schools. And so we can talk about how in our organizations, the CEOs, but also all of the executive leadership is critically important, and of course the people on our team. So making sure that all of the employees in our organizations are, are thriving and respected. Well, these are the same things that we want for educators in North Carolina. So a big part of our advocacy is how do we elevate educators in North Carolina? Well, well full disclosure, BB&T, one of the sponsors sure. of Bottom Line. But tell us a little bit about the Institute. What's the origin of it? What are you trying to accomplish with that initiative? Sure. Uh, the Institute as, a, as an entity is only about two or three years old. We started it in January of 2014, but um, the predecessor organization was called FAR Associates, um, a leadership development firm that's actually been around for about 60 years. BB&T bought it in the early 1990s because we were a, a, a large client of that institution and wanted to continue to, to have those services. So we've owned it for about 20 years. Changed the focus in 2014, though, with this idea of how do we get um, our message of hopeful and positive leadership out to the broadest possible audience? Um, and so today, the Institute has four primary audiences. Um, we continue to work with BB&T, as you can imagine. Um, we work with outside corporate clients. But then any money we happen to make off of that, we turn right around and offer um, really high quality leadership development for student leaders and what we're here to talk about today, principals. Um, so it's, uh, it's been about three years now, and we've worked with um, over 500 principals so far. Well, Principal Rogers, tell us a little bit about your experience with the Institute and how it's helped you in the administration of a school. Well, um, as you can imagine, I've been through quite a bit of training over my 23 plus years of education. And, and I can say um, with certainty that the BBNT leadership program has just been phenomenal in terms of my development and building my own capacity as a leader. Um, often when you, when you hear leadership development programs, they tend to focus on the different leadership styles and kind of where you fit in. What's phenomenal about this program is that they are focused on conscious leadership, which means you're focused on yourself. You start with an aware, awareness of yourself and then awareness of the people that you lead, and it just allows you to have a better understanding of who you are and, and the different things that make you who you are and how that impacts how you lead others. And so it's pretty, it's pretty phenomenal when you spend real time with self-awareness and real time understanding who you are as a leader and then you're able to, to, to see that show up and be able to work with your staff using the tools and the skills that you are learning through the leadership program. Well, one of the things that many people ask, why is the business community so interested in trying to help public education and public educators? Well, from a business standpoint, what's the benefit to BB&T for a better and more efficient public education system in the state? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's one of those things where we, we obviously um, consume the product the, of Shawana's efforts. You know, on down the line, 10, 15 years from now, we're, we're going to be hiring the folks that she's, she's leading and, and teaching today. Um, and so, you know, from a, from a selfish standpoint, if you look at banking, we are nothing more, our success is nothing more than a reflection of the success of our communities. Um, and we cannot have healthy, vibrant communities if we don't have healthy, vibrant schools with great leadership and where our children are getting, getting all their needs met around education. So um, when we started the Institute, we did look around and say, well, we want to be involved in education because our CEO, Kelly King, is very interested in education. Um, and we looked at, well, should we work with, with teachers or should we look at superintendents? But we landed on the principal because a lot of research out there says that second to the classroom teacher, 
the principal has the largest impact on the success and the quality of a school. Um, and by working with the principals, it allowed us to sort of multiply our effect. Um, for every 100 principals we work with, we actually end up touching the lives of about 55,000 children. Um, so that was where we felt, thought we could have the largest impact. Um, and we don't go in, as, as Shawana said, we don't go in and teach them how to um, implement Common Core or that sort of thing. We don't know anything about that. But what we do know about is, is sort of that global leadership that everybody needs to have, whether you're leading a Fortune 500 company, a small business, or a school. Um, there's certain things that are universal, and those are the things that we teach in this program. Well, Brenda, the organization you, you run has really brought together business leaders to look at public education issues. What, what are some of the takeaways that the business leaders you work with have about ways that the business community can help continue to improve education in the state? Well, that's right. Well, this is such a great example, and it's about respect, right? This is this program that's, that's being given here for free to yes. principals here in North Carolina mm -hmm is an example of respect when in our organizations our executives get this kind of leadership training and so we believe that you should as well and so that that translates into some of the other work we're doing so uh, we have advocated for uh, really transforming how we recruit principals into the profession we were just talking about how principal rogers had to work full-time pay her own tuition um, did not get the residential uh, paid internships that other professions get for their executives and now we in North Carolina in 2015 passed a new program that started earlier this year and we have over 114 candidates enrolled in that program. They were recruited into that program. It is a paid program and they get paid for a residency just like an executive in any of our organizations would have gotten. So that kind of very respectful, um, you know, business-like, um, but we're not trying to run education. As you said, we don't know about, we're not trying to tell you about Common Core. What we're trying to do is apply basic business principles and the business principles for organizations like BB&T that are professional organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really exciting and it is such an honor because if you look at a great school, it has a great leader. Uh, we, we say that statistically the teacher has the greatest impact and they do, but a great teacher just won't work um, for a poor leader. And, and we know that for sure. Yeah. You can Principal, probably speak to that. <laughs> no, Principal Rogers, final, final thoughts here. You have 30 seconds. What, what's one way, tangibly, you've changed the way you serve as principal of a school based on this experience? Um, they introduce a very simple model around beliefs, behaviors, and results. And I use that all the time with staff. I've used that with looking at how we are um, about to implement a new initiatives and just making sure we start with what our core beliefs around something or to a teacher what's your core belief then that's going to drive your behavior which is going to ultimately drive the results. Great conversation. Thank you for joining us on Bottom Line this week.